this video I'm going to sh be showing you my method of creating this uh, machine handle uh, within a given a dimension that I have so let's get started on it first you want to go to new we're going to be using metrics to create sketch XZ uh, diameter circle select the center point there and 64 a millimeter is what we want select the circle uh, center point again and that we want 37 is it okay I'm gonna try to speed it up and try to fit everything that I'm doing here onto 15 minutes of YouTube time so I'll do what I can so first you select extrude we want to change it to asymmetric select that we want 47 and we want 35 millimeter for the bottom piece and just say okay on that now select the top side sketch circle select the center point we want 45 for this as it's given on the uh, drawing Hit OK, finish, go to extrude, I like that, go to cut, and we want 14 depth on this, select there, and now we want to do the same thing to the bottom, so highlight the bottom, um, go into sketch, hover over it till you see that, it'll, that white line there, select it, select project geometry, and you're pretty much all done on that, go into extrude, highlight that piece there, uh, then you want to go to cut and it's already given 14 so say it okay now we want to go into um, top side here select it again and select the plane offset from plane we want negative 7 for this because we want to bring it down there you go highlight that select sketch and normally I would go into slice uh, graphic here click on it it'll just cut to it where that plane is so you could work on it that's how it is helps a little bit um, go into project geometry select that select the circle just draw somewhere over here a circle of 22 there select that select the center point both of them and the, that we want 67 doing the same thing but now we want this side here to be zero so now it's constrained on there select the line um, just draw a line um, distant don't matter we're gonna be trimming them off just like that select tangent tangent there and here just like this here and we're gonna select trim and say okay Actually, I miss one piece that steps here that it's not necessarily, but I'd like to clean it up a little bit. Go into there, draw another circle here because we won't need that to be 8 millimeter. Is it okay? Select extrude, select there, and we want to reverse the direction on this one and 13 millimeter completed that I like to turn off this one piece here because now I'm completing with complete with it so let's go into XY again sketch go into slice graphic I usually select the project geometry here just to draw this line here go into line go to that point so it turns X we know it's given a 25 millimeter on that bring it down a little bit click on tab till you see the degree is highlighted type in 45 degree and now we just want to um, close it off with just drawing a line down snap onto that trim it off is it okay now we go to extrude again um, select the symmetric here and what we want is 10 millimeter there you have it I apologize if I'm going a little too fast but um, um, you could always pause and go back and start doing it again um, go into XY sketch go into slice graphic select a point now just draw a point right over that line there 
snap onto it we're establishing the dimension here to be 180 draw another point right up top of it just hover over it 51 we want for that so here we go 51 and now what we're going to do is just draw a line as a given line is 50 bring it up and we know that it's going to be 18 and just bring o bring it over until you see there it's given perpendicular there uh, okay now we want to get the point again because we're going to establish a radius there's one there right now it don't really matter where it's at we're going to be dimensioning it select the top select one of the point this one we want 116 and the next one from the bottom line there and to the point we want 100 we go into arc which is center arc here like that select the 116 point and the top just draw an arc on it, don't matter how far. Now go into the 100 millimeter here, select that point, select the bottom piece, just draw an arc. Now what we want to do is establish the line through here, so just draw a line from that point to there, and then from there to there, give it a dimension of 18 as given and close it up with a line drawing here now what we're going to do is draw a circle of a given circle is 200 let's start with that what we're going to do is tangent that piece to the top here just like that and do it again with the line that is on top so here and here now we're going to draw another circle which is going to be 116 times 2, 232. Okay, we're going to make sure you got the right one. Go to tangent, tab, select that circle, and select the bottom arc there. Select the circle again, and select the bottom line. Now, what we're going to do is just start trimming them off here. So we don't need this or this. Um, we also won't need additional line there and there. We don't need the inside there. And we don't need this piece here. So there you have it. Uh, say it OK. Oh, I missed one. So I'm just going to go back, go to Edit Sketch. Right there, that piece there. So I'll just trim it off. There we go. I think I got everything. Oh, one more there. Let's see. There okay so make sure you clean it up as much as you can go to extrude and uh, what we want for this is symmetric to be 64 is it okay as you can see there's a piece there we could clean it up right now go into edit sketch go into extrude extrude cut go to through all just to make sure because we don't need it and there you have that one. Now you want to select the top side of this piece here. This one is a little tricky of what I've done. Um, okay, so what you want to do is go here, select the construction line, select that, bring it over to snap right onto it. Because we know that the given dimension is 25 millimeter from here to here and we're going to center that so turn off your construction line from here to here we know it's 25 divided by 2 that is a given line so what I'm going to do is just going to draw a line because we're just going to need we're just going to be cutting it off from here so it doesn't matter the dimension right now for that and there then dimension this piece to that dot because we know it's half of the 25 so 
so 12.5 and we're just going to finish it up with the line closing it there now we're going to tangent these this and this diameter here so select that project geometry go into tangent because we're going to tangent this with the circle as you can see again it don't matter about the outside because we're going to be cutting so however you want to draw that outside it's up to you what we're going to do is select extrude select the outside as you can see go into cut and what we want to do is cut through so there you have it it's not the prettiest but it's, it gets the job done um, okay now we're going to establish this piece here it's like that sketch I think I have a f another five minute of recording so I'll try to finish it up again as fast as I can here okay select the center point as you can see it's center there and there and we want 40 diameter for that select OK select the extrude highlight the one that we want to extrude which is that 8 millimeter go to XY plane we're gonna do some revo uh, revolve to here select that go into s slice graphic and what I want to establish is that we know that we want this one to be drawn from there so I selected that and I select that and that now what I want to do is just cover over till you see that little dot there bring it out I know it's given a hundred and twenty millimeter and I know from here from here it's another line that I want to draw upward like that. So just hover over this green dot, bring it over, select that. In actuality, I didn't really need to draw this one too, so I only need these two just to give it a reference. Um, okay, go into circle, select there, and that was a given 22.5 times 2 because we want to draw a diameter and not a radius. Uh, once we establish that, we know from here to here is the tension that we want it to be. So first thing I'm going to do is just to constrain this to be zero. And then zoom in a little bit. You see it's not connected. You want to go into uh, this piece here. You want to use the coincident constraint. Select the circle and select that dot there. Now it's constrained on that. Uh, we want to constrain this. So we want to go to the tangent select select now we could all trim it off any of the n unnecessary piece this is here and here so we want to close this piece off so just go to line close this click OK select revolve select the axis which is that piece there as you can see it's drawn for you it okay um, as you can see I made a little mistake there I think it's a mistake yeah it's supposed to match up with this here so I'm gonna go back and how you gonna do to go back let's just go back and on the bottom if you can't see it it's gonna go into uh, edit sketch um, I want to establish that point to that point to be 9 see if it's going to do for me there we go and that's all you have to do say okay and it will update for you and I think I'm running out of time on this but basically if you want to do that ribs again uh, that just bring it out to here you can do exactly like this method here um, but establish a constraint line a solid piece and then just close it up um, hope this help um, whoever's doing this for their uh, projects or school um, about how to create this in a different method than um, um, you know how to solve an issue so and then once you establish this um, let your supervisor know and maybe he could edit it or fix it up a little bit for you alright thank you